I just pop these on here. And then I can do my measuring. Whoops. Whoops. Ahoy pirate friends! Welcome back to Pirate Family Fun and Learning. Today we're doing a very special project. Why don't you look in the treasure chest and see what we have today. We've got a screwdriver and a pencil because we are going to practice using a screwdriver today. Figuring out which way to turn screwdrivers what to make the screw go. What's a pencil for? And the pencil because we are going to mark on the wall where the baby gate goes uh, and where we need to put the screw holes. We're going to install a baby gate today. That's our fun adventure. I'm right this thing stand up. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got one side of the baby gate here and these need to get screwed into the wall. We're going to put a screw right in the middle and that's going to anchor it to the wall. So we're going to put those here, one on this side and one on this side. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to set this right where we want the gate. All right, and then I need you to draw a circle down here. And this one is draw a circle in the, in the part where you can see green. That is perfect. All right, so we've got our little spot where we know we need to put our screw. Step two, we have our screw here. We're going to put it through. And then we find where that hole, that circle is, and we put the screw right in the center. I'm just going to push a little bit to puncture the wall. Okay, and then you watch first, and then I'll have you help me. Okay, you turn it this way. This is right. So if you're looking from this end, the, a clock will go this direction. A clock hand will go this direction. It's called clockwise. This is called counterclockwise going the other way. They want to make sure that the stump of your screwdriver is following a clock hand to the right. Got it part way in here. So why don't you try by yourself? So you're turning it the right way. Just push it a little bit harder. Push a little bit harder toward the wall so it catches. I'll tell you what, why don't you push with your hand like this? And I'll do the turning. You push, push it. And the wall make sure it's nice and tight. And I'll do the turn. Oh, there you go. You're getting it now. Yeah, you're pushing it nice and hard. Push it to the wall. All right. Okay, I'm going to finish it up here real quick. I'm just going to push really hard and turn clockwise. And it drives it into the wall. And after that, you don't need to push quite as hard. It should just take over. All right. Oh, look, you're doing it this time. You're yeah. keeping great pressure on it. Just to make sure to keep pushing toward the wall hard. I'll push, and you turn. How's that? We'll, we'll do it the other way this time. I'm kind of pushing it toward the wall, and you're doing the turning. There we go. There we go. Here, I'll just finish it for us. All right. Now, which direction would you turn... If you wanted to take the screw back out of the wall. Right this way. That's right. You would. You would turn it this way. Left. So I've tentatively set up this gate. It's not connected here, as you can see. But I've set up this side so that I know when I do connect the whole thing that it's going to line up straight across. So I will just now if you follow put this in position. This side down to this side. Well, here he can only crawl up one stair. That's the idea here. He can only crawl up to here. And he can maybe put his hands here, but he's not going to crawl up and then come tumbling down the stairs. I've got this one marked with the pencil. Have that there. And just make sure that's still where I want it to be. Perfect. All right, Mark. And I'm just going to scooch this one out. Circle. All right, now I know where the screws go. 
So I'm going to take this back off for now so it's not in my way. If you look at the, the rear of the screwdriver, you want it to turn like a clock. Turn like a clock. A clock hand. That's going to put a screw into the wall. And if you want it to come out, you do the other direction. Where you do it the opposite way of how a clock hand moves. That's going to take it out. And that's known as lefty loosey. You're going to loosen up the screw by turning it left. You're going to tighten it by turning right. And we're putting it in, so we want to do righty tighty. I have fearless. Very fearless. Look at you. You can use a screwdriver. Wow. <laughs> I can help you. Alright, so you're going to help me? You want to turn or push? Turn. Turn. Okay, I'm going to push hard. And you turn it the right way. Is that the right way? That's the right way. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get a video. A little bit more of what you're doing. Okay. It's not wiggling. Yep, it's not wiggling. I think we got that nice and tight. All right, let's see if we can attach the baby gate now. Okay. Teamwork. I'm just going to turn it around so the door opens that way. Teamwork. Teamwork. Okay. So we got that one here. In the right spot. We got this one. Clicking in. Perfect. Okay, right now there's a gap here, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn these knobs on each side, and it's going to push the gate together so that this connects, and then um, it's going to be super secure here. It's getting closer together here the more I turn it. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit on the bottoms here too, when the baby is old enough to go up and down the stairs safely. We'll take it down. But right now he just learned to crawl upstairs yesterday, which is why we've broken this out today. So we are turning, 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 turning. Yeah. We're doing both at the same time. Alright, well I had to readjust a little bit on each of them just to make sure it was the right tension. It wasn't too strong. If it's if it's too tight, and the little kids can't do it, they're going to pull on this. They're going to put all their weight on it and try to rip it out of the wall. So you want just the right amount so it's, it's not too much tension. And that seems like a good amount. It doesn't take too much effort to get open, but it's, it's very strong if you don't. Um, yeah, there you go. That's pretty easy for you. So when you're all done, what do you do? You put your tools away so you know where to find them the next time that you need them. Keeps everything nice and clean. So farewell, me hearties. Join us again on our channel for another swashbuckling adventure. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Sailing the seventies.